The Magic Island by Elizabeth War. Far, far away in the warm South Seas, there is a magic island ruled over by a kindly witch called Thomasina Toffee. On Thomasina's island, the seashells are made of bubblegum, the streams flow with sparkling lemonade, and huge chocolate buttons grow on the trees. For Thomasina had a sweet tooth, and there was nothing she liked better than to nibble a tasty little sweet. As she was a witch, and her teeth were made of good strong crystal, she never needed any feelings and could eat as many sweets as she liked. Thomasina's broomstick was made of barley sugar, and every day she would ride on it around her island, flying high over the cream soda waterfalls and the toffee trees. One night, when Thomasina was fast asleep in her marzipan bed, she was woken suddenly by the sound of the wind howling and the waves crashing on the shore. There was a terrible storm. The wind was blowing so hard that the chocolate buttons were peter pattering down from the trees and a pair of dropped seashells were being whirled along the beach. Crossly, Thomasina got out of bed, put on her magic spangled clock and made her way down to the beach. She tried to make a spell to calm the storm, but her magic was not strong enough. In the distance she could see a ship rolling and heaving on the waves. She was a good witch and would like to have helped, but there was nothing she could do. So she went back to her little toffee house shut the door firmly and got into bed. When she woke in the morning, the sun was shining and the sea was calm and still. She was drinking her breakfast cup of hot chocolate when suddenly she heard a loud <coughs> It came from the beach. But who could it be? Nobody else lived on Thomasina's island. She quickly jumped on her barley sugar broomstick and flew down to the seashore. There, sitting on a rock and looking very cold, wet, and bedraggled, was a little yellow teddy bear. <coughs> he sneezed and spluttered and shivered. Thomasina floated down beside him. Zimble dee, fiddle me dee, she said. And who are you? My name is <coughs> Ernest Pumpkin, said the little teddy bear. I was sailing with my family on a big ship, and I got washed overboard in a terrible storm. Well, my dear Mr. Pumpkin, said Thomasina kindly, welcome to my magic island. You must come back to my house to dry yourself. Please call me Ernest, said the teddy bear. Thank you for your kind invitation. I should very much like to dry myself. <coughs> so Ernest climbed on the back of Thomasina's broomstick and back they flew to her little toffee house. The sun was shining and Ernest soon dried off. Thomasina offered him all sorts of delicious things to eat. A thimble full of raspberry aid, a slice of fudge, a little plate of chocolate buttons. Then she took him on a lovely ride around the island and showed him the cream soda waterfall and the pear drop seashells. That evening, Thomasina gave him his own little bed and Ernest slept better than ever before. Ernest loved sweets too, so he had a wonderful time on Thomasina's magic island. He stayed for several weeks, steadily growing fatter and fatter. Thomasina noticed that he was looking very sad. He hadn't bothered to eat his breakfast. 
and he was sitting gloomily on the donut sofa, staring ahead of him. Then a fat tear rolled down his cheek and plopped onto the floor. Whatever is the matter, Ernest? asked Thomasina anxiously. I miss my family, said Ernest sadly, and especially Jennifer, the little girl who owned me. I wonder where she is now. She must miss me too. Well, let's have a look in my crystal ball, said Thomasina. Then we can see what they are all doing. Thomasina brought a beautiful, shining round object out of her cupboard. It's magic, she explained. If you look into it, you can see where your friends are and what they are doing. Thomasina placed it carefully on the table and said her magic spell. Crystal ball shining bright through the day and through the night. Tell me where is Jennifer now? As they peered into the crystal ball, shapes slowly began to form. Why, look, cried Ernest. It's Jennifer and her mother. They're in a house by the seaside. Well, that's easy said Thomasina. I can take you there on my broomstick, but we will have to go at night so that nobody sees us, and we had better wear my spangled clock in case it gets cold. So that very night, Thomasina and Ernest set off on the barley sugar broomstick. They wheezed through the moonlight over islands and oceans, until they came to the house where Ernest's family was staying. They floated down on the broomstick and landed in the garden. As quietly as a little mouse, Thomasina opened the back door by magic. And Ernest tiptoed into the sitting room and jumped onto the sofa. He kissed Thomasina goodbye and thanked her very much for her kindness. Then she climbed back onto the broomstick and flew back home to her magic island. When Jennifer came down for breakfast the following morning, she was amazed to see Ernest sitting on the sofa. She rushed up to him and he hugged and kissed him. Mommy, mommy, she yelled, guess what? Ernest has come back! Come and see! And so, Ernest returned to live happily with his family. But as he sat in the nursery with the other toys, eagerly waiting for Jennifer to bring some crumpets for tea, he often thought of the kindly witch Thomasina and her magic island, where all those good things to eat could be had if you just stretched out your paw. And as for Jennifer, she never understood why Ernest had grown so fat. <laughs>